So if you've watched Akroff's commentary, then you would have heard of a guy known as the Gamertron, who basically made a top 10 list of games that he hates but everyone else likes, in which, spoilers, he puts Nintendo at number 1. Of course, this got quite a bit of backlash, and then he made a follow-up video, which is what I'm about to do now. That was the point of that countdown. I knew it was going to get some hate from people who weren't listening and were just taking at face value what was going on in the video, like what was on the list. So I need to explain in greater detail why Nintendo and Nintendo games were my number one, why I hate Nintendo games but everybody else likes Nintendo. And I think people are taking the word hate a bit too seriously. I dislike, I'm unfavorable, I don't like. I don't hate like, oh, I should burn Nintendo to the ground, we should burn Nintendo to the ground. Not that kind of hate. God, no, I'm not unreasonable. Well, considering the fact the term hate is actually a pretty strong way of saying that you dislike something, and you put the word hate into your title, then of course people are going to think that you have a very strong disliking towards the company. I simply dislike Nintendo even though everybody else likes Nintendo games. Allow me to explain in greater detail. First off, Everybody in that video w when talking about my number one, everybody jumped on one thing. I gave multiple reasons in that in that video, but everybody just jumped on one thing. And that was that I said I didn't like that all, every single Nintendo game is exclusive. I don't like Nintendo's exclusivity. Well, probably because they're in your top 10 list, it makes it sound like you don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. Hell, you said that you don't see Capcom or Sega doing this, when in actuality, they've released several exclusives to some consoles. Listen, we can argue exclusivity till the cows come home. There is no right or wrong answer. That's the truth. There is no right or wrong answer. Some people think exclusives are a good idea. Some people think they are bad. There is no right or wrong answer. I'm tired of people saying, this is how the world works. There needs to be exclusive. From my perspective, releasing a game on all platforms means more copies are sold and more money is made and more people get to play the game. Whilst that can be a fairly okay argument against exclusivity, you completely forget that if Nintendo released every single one of their games to every single console, then they completely and utterly lose the push for the Wii U. Exclusives are important for gaming companies because if that exclusive is only available for one console, they will push people to want to buy that console if they want the game. And maybe what about the idea that maybe not all games work for every single console? Look at how the Wii U is different compared to the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. Now, listen to me when I talk about the rest of the reasons I don't like Nintendo. First off, they are absolutely terrified or afraid to come out with new IPs, new franchises. What has Nintendo been doing for the past 20 years? They've been making sequels to the same franchises, to the same games, over and over and over again. And yet despite all this, these games are still popular with not only older gamers, but with newer gamers alike. If something is still gaining popularity, then what's the point of getting rid of it? I mean, look how long Sonic has been going on, and you put that on your list quite low. Work on something else. Nintendo has been praised for their creativity then be creative, create new characters, create new worlds, create new gaming franchises. Stop using just the title and the title characters to sell copies. I, I honestly, believe me, I do believe that Nintendo is full of creativities and create unique ideas. I would just, I would prefer it if they didn't use it for the same franchises over and over again. Make something new, for God's sakes. Now, I know everybody's immediately going to jump on me and say, They're making Splatoon! Splatoon is coming out! That's a new Nintendo IP! It's a third-person shooter paintball game. Third-person shooter paintball. That's cartoony. I I've seen so much more creativity and originality from Nintendo, and that's what their- that's their new IP. That- that's their new IP. Cartoony paintball. Maybe Nintendo should work on a new IP because all they do is just rehash the same franchises. What's that? They're working on a new IP? Th th that doesn't count because all it is is just a third person shooter. Yeah. Second reason. And this is just me. This is just from my perspective, but um, doesn't Nintendo make kids games? Aren't those games for kids? I thought Nintendo was a company focused towards families and making their games for everyone, but, but whatever, Brighty Colors must mean kiddie games. And 
being for kids? Aren't they insultingly easy? Insultingly simple? Now immediately people are going to jump on me and tell me, no, no, that's not true, but it, it kind of is. Yes, it's a fact that these Nintendo games are insultingly easy. It's not like in Kid Icarus Uprising I can up the difficulty to put more of a challenge. These games are simple. They are basic. They're easy to control and they have barely any controls because they're basically... With Zelda you have moving around, attacking, using your inventory and special abilities. With Mario it's walking around and jumping. With Donkey Kong walking around and jumping. Am I the only one who's finding it funny he's saying all this yet? Yeah, all he's done in Watch Dog is run around, hide, stealth and attack. Oh yeah, and occasionally use the hacking system. I'm sorry, Nintendo games don't. They simply don't. So, let's see what we have on the list. I don't like their exclusivity. I don't like how they keep sticking to the same god dang franchises. And I think Mr. Prolly Prince is getting all busy. That's just as creative. And I, the games simply don't appeal to me. They're kids games, and kids games don't appeal to me. I mean, these are really young kids games. These are direct at really young kids. I, yeah, I just find it hard to comprehend why so many adults absolutely adore and obsess over Nintendo when they're a company that makes kids games. I'd say those are some good solid reasons, but I'm going to keep going. I'm going to talk about the most important reason. Nintendo does not care about its customers. A company that doesn't care about its customers? What a fucking super eyes. Oh, the horror, the shocking horror, that can't be true. I'm sorry, it is. Except for the fact that when they actually did stuff for their customers, it, yeah, 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 it's all fact. But I'm not going to be blinded when I, when I see Nintendo and I see they don't give a damn about their customers. They really don't. What if they ever did something specific, something specifically nice for their customers? When if they ever, like Bioware. Look at Bioware. When people demanded, when people simply demanded and rallied together to ask that Bioware change their ending because it was unsatisfying and in their, in, in many people's opinion, bad, Bioware said, you know what, we're going to do it for you guys. You guys bought our game, you guys are loyal fans, you're big fans, y you care about this series, Mass Effect series so much, we're going to give this to the fans, we're going to change our ending, we're going to add more to our ending. Wasn't it that after the fans completely complained about the ending of Mass Effect 3, that the developers decided to release a DLC that had a different ending, not removing the old ending, just putting in a new one? When the hell has Bioware ever done that? As a matter of fact, they did the exact opposite. Yes, going back and re-recording your lines is so hard fucking. Yeah, I think it's fine, we'll do one take. When Tomodachi Life, I'm sure you guys all heard about this, it was in the news for quite a while. When Tomodachi Life had a glitch, a glitch in it that allowed there to be same-sex marriages, same-sex couples, it was, granted it was a glitch, and glitches need to be fixed, but even after they fixed the glitch, they didn't even add the option or some or somehow improve upon the glitch to make it part of the game for same sex relationships and marriages. And what was their response? We didn't want to send any message. We didn't mean to offend anybody. Uh, we uh, care about our customers and the sexual orientation. Granted, I'm paraphrasing here. That's not exactly what they said, but. It was silly, they shouldn't have released a statement, all they needed to say was, this is a glitch, we need to fix this. But then, they shot themselves in the foot and made it a bigger deal than it needed to be. Yeah, you have no fucking clue what you're talking about at all, don't you? The glitch was removed due to the fact it could actually break the game, and fans complained once they discovered that the same-sex marriage part was also removed. They complained about how it was offensive and how Nintendo were anti-homosexual. This resulted in Nintendo of America having to release a statement saying that they apologize, they couldn't really do anything, but they were actually going to see if they can push for same-sex relationships in the sequel that ever was one. As it was... Ugh. Nintendo, Nintendo games just don't appeal to me. I understand that a lot of you have strong, very strong nostalgic feelings for Nintendo. And more, more power to you. I have nothing against that. 
You know, whilst I watch this video, I have to ask how many Nintendo games this guy's played. I mean, he must know a variety of how these Nintendo games are playing, so he must know- Oh, that explains quite a bit. And you know what, I'll stop the video here because there's really no point in continuing onwards. But I think we all learned a valuable lesson. I don't know what it is though. When I've been said, this is out entertainment, and I wonder how many people think that I'm a Nintendo fanboy. Bitch, please, I've already signed my allegiance to Sony.